hello student in uh, before this video we have seen uh, the common name and IUPAC names of alkane now let us start the isomerism in alkane so in general organic chemistry you have already studied what is mean by isomerism so what is mean by isomerism so two or more compound having same molecular formula but their structure and properties are different are known as isomers and the phenomenon is known as isomerism this definition you have studied in the general organic chemistry topic so we have to specify uh, what type of isomerism is exhibited by the alkanes so our concept is isomerism in alkane so alkane exhibit basically the chain isomerism so chain isomerism is exhibited by the alkane right okay so what is mean by chain isomerism and what are their examples that we have to study see i have written here so let us take the example the compound having molecular formula c4h10 what is the molecular formula of the compound c4h10 so this c4h10 molecular formula we can write the two structures see here CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, this is called as the N-butane, right? This is the N-butane. So, this is the straight chain because all the carbon atoms are in a chain, straight chain. Then, this is the branched chain, this is the straight chain. What is the name of this compound? This is called as isobutane because at second carbon atom, one methyl group is there. So, therefore, this is called as isobutane. So, now this is the branched chain, right? Okay, this is the straight chain, this is the branch chain. What I mean to say, the compound having molecular formula C4H10 has two chain isomers. What you observe here, this first example, so this is the first, this is the second, right? In the first example, the nature of chain of carbon atom is straight chain. In the second example, the nature of chain of carbon atom is branch chain. It indicates or it concludes that compound having molecular formula C4H10 has two structures having carbon skeleton is different or nature of chain of carbon atom is different. Here the nature of chain of carbon atom is straight chain. Here the nature of chain of carbon atom is branch chain. So therefore nature of carb nature of chain of carbon atom is different or the carbon skeleton is different. Here carbon skeleton is straight chain. Here carbon skeleton is branched chain. So therefore what is mean by chain isomerism? Two or more compound having same molecular formula. See. What is the molecular formula of this compound? C4H10. What is the molecular formula of this compound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. So, every compound has the molecular formula same. So, how we can define the chain isomerism? Two or more compound having same molecular formula, but their nature of chain of carbon atom is different. Or the carbon skeleton is different. Is known as chain isomers and the phenomenon or process is known as chain isomerism. See, here this is the first chain isomer, this is the second chain isomer. Okay, these two are the chain isomers of each other. So, in JW main or NEET exam, question will ask like this. The compound having molecular formula C4H10 has how many chain isomers? Suppose A, to B3, C1, D4. What is the question? The compound having molecular formula C4H10 has how many chain isomers? So, what is the answer? A is the answer. Why? Because this compound has how many chain isomers? Two chain isomers. Right. Okay. So, MCQ may be asked in this way. Okay maybe ask in uh, neat or JW like this okay so now this is the first 
example C4H10. Next, suppose I have the C5UH12 molecular formula. The compound having the molecular formula C5UH12. So, how many structures we can write? So, this one, this is called as the N pentane. Right? So, this is the straight chain. Why? Because all the carbon atoms are in a straight chain, continuous chain. This is called as isopentane. This is called as neopentane. Okay. So, this is the first, this is second example, this is the third example. Right. Okay. So, what you observe? The compound having molecular formula C5UH12 has three different structures. This is the n-pentane, this is the isopentane, this is the neopentane. Right. So, therefore, what is our definition of chain isomerism? Two or more compound having same molecular formula. All these compound have same molecular formula. Count C5H12. Two or more compound having same molecular formula, but their carbon skeleton is different or nature of chain of carbon atom is different, it's called as chain isomers and the phenomenon or process is known as chain isomerism. See here, this first and second, you compare this first example and second example, okay. So, this is the straight chain, this is the branched chain branched chain. So, therefore, first and second uh, compounds are chain isomers of each other. This is also a branched chain, branched chain. But keep in mind that second and third are not chain isomers of each other. Why are they not chain isomers of each other? Because they have same carbon skeleton. They have same nature of chain of carbon atom. Therefore, second and third are not chain isomers of each other. But first and third are chain isomers of each other. Why? In the first compound, straight chain. In the third compound, branch chain. Therefore, first and second as well as first and third are chain isomers of each other. Right? Okay. So, this is the second example. So, have you understood what is meant by chain isomerism? So, what is the, uh, the definition of chain isomerism? Two or more compound having same molecular formula, but their nature of chain of carbon atom is different are called as chain isomers and the phenomenon or process is known as chain isomerism. Right? Okay? So, these are the two examples I have taken here. So, uh, in your notebook, you prepare the chart, molecular formula and structure formula. So, these two examples I have taken, you have to write uh, up to the heptane, that is C5H12 uh, I have completed, C5, uh, C6H14, C7H16. Yes, so, these two molecular formulae you have to uh, write and uh, you write their chain isomers in your notebook. So, if you do the practice, so you can easily understand the chain isomerism. So, what is the conclusion then? Alkane undergoes or alkane exhibit the chain isomerism. Right. Okay. So, there are different types of isomerism. We will see one by one uh, in alkenes, in alkynes. So, in alkene positional isomerism, in alkyne also positional isomerism, geometrical isomerism. So, this part we will see at uh, respective topic. Right. Okay. So, this is regarding the isomerism in alkene that is the chain isomerism. Okay. So, uh, up to this part, uh, we can study that how the MCQ questions of NEET or JEE will be set in the exam that we will uh, learn. Suppose I am going to take uh, one, two, three examples here, so you can understand very easy. Right. Suppose I am going to take the one MCQ. Okay. So, how the uh, examples are to be asked in the exam. So, suppose I have this 
एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कंपाउंड हैविंग द मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला द कंपाउंड हैविंग मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला सी सिक्स एच फोर्टीन हैज फॉलोइंग चेन आइसोमर्स हैज फॉलोइंग चेन आइसोमर्स राइट ओके सपोज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दिस सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क इन द विल बी आस्क इन नीट आर जे डबल ई सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन द कंपाउंड हैविंग मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला सी सिक्स एच फोर्टीन हैज फॉलोइंग चेन आइसोमर्स सो वट आर द ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन इज यन ब्यूटेन एंड आइसो ब्यूटेन बी इज यन पेंटेन एंड यन आइसो पेंटेन आइसो पेंटेन सी यन हेगजेन एंड आइसो हेगजेन देन डी आइसो हेगजेन एंड न्यू हेगजेन exam okay so you see this is the question the compound having molecular formula c6h14 has following chain isomers so this is n butane and isobutene so what is the n butane so that is the ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 what is the molecular formula c4 and h10 so what is the molecular formula given in the question c6h14 so therefore this is not the answer n butane and isobutane next n pentane and isopentane okay so n pentane is ch3 ch2 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 ch3 the structure of n pentane so how many carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 right okay so five carbon and how many hydrogen 3 plus 2 5 Three plus two, five plus five, ten plus two, twelve. So, what is the molecular formula? C five H twelve. Okay, but in the question, what is the molecular formula given? C six H fourteen. So, therefore, this is also uh, is not the answer of this question, right? Okay. Then next, n hexane and iso hexane. So, what is the n hexane? C H three, C H two, C H two, C H two. C H two one two three four five and six right so this is the structure of n hexane so count the total number of carbon atom one two three four five six carbon atoms are six carbon atoms are there then how many hydrogen three plus two five three plus two five plus five ten ten plus four that is the fourteen so C six H fourteen so we got the answer here. That is the C six H fourteen. Okay, what is your question? The compound having molecular formula C six H fourteen has following chain isomers. So, what is the chain isomerism? Two or more compound having same molecular formula, but their nature of chain of carbon atom is different, or their carbon skeleton is different in their structure. So, you observe that this is the n hexane, and this is the iso hexane C H three one two three four five. And six, right? Okay. So therefore, this is an hexane. This is iso hexane. Both have having the same molecular formula. And here the straight chain. Here the branch chain. So therefore, carbon skeleton is also different. The, so therefore, this is the answer. An hexane and iso hexane. So D, this iso hexane and neo hexane. So this iso hexane is this one. What is the structure of neo hexane? C H three, C H three, C H three, and this C H three. Okay. The neo is second carbon atom is having the two methyl groups. So therefore, this is a neo compound. Therefore, this iso hexane and neo hexane has the same carbon skeleton. Iso hexane and new hexane has the same carbon skeleton. Nature of chain of carbon atom is same, so therefore they are not the chain isomers of each other. But is our condition in the chain isomerism? Carbon skeleton must be different. So here carbon skeleton is same, so therefore this is also not a answer. 
right okay so such type of question may be asked in your NEET or JWE or MSTCET exam okay so we will take the another example right okay so what is the example so we will take the uh, example on the alkyl group right okay uh, what is the example see I am going to write the example so we will discuss that example so second question what is the question which of the following which of the following alkyl group which of the following alkyl group is not is not formed from which of the alkyl group is not formed from C three H eight, right? Okay. So uh, we'll see the example. So that is, uh, we'll see the C four H ten, right? Okay. So this example we'll take. Uh, which of the following alkyl group is not formed from C four H ten compound? C four H ten compound. So question may be like this. So uh, keep in mind whenever you are going to solve the questions of NEET or questions of uh, MSTCET or JWE, first of all you have to carefully read the question. After reading the question carefully then you have to think uh, what will be the answer. So you read out all the MCQs first. Okay. So, as soon as you are going to read the question, then immediately answer will be reset in your mind. Then and then you can solve the MCQ question within uh, one minute. In the NEET question, NEET exam, you will have uh, the 720 marks exam. How many questions you have? 180 marks, uh, 180 questions. Okay, 180 questions. 720 marks 180 questions means how many minutes for each question so each question will get only one minute so you will have only one minute for each question so in one minute you have to read the question you have to uh, read out the four mcqs and you have to say it within a one minute so therefore in a NEET exam or JWE or in MSTCET, as soon as you read the question, your mind will think such that answer will be setting your mind within a one minute and you have to take the decision immediately and you have to set that uh, circle within a one minute. So this requires your reading, writing and your recall of mind. Right, so therefore, your reading is very carefully, your writing is very uh, safe, and your writing is also very clean. And uh, third thing is that you must concentrate and you must recall your mind what you have uh, written, what you have. Uh, uh, studied what you have read out what you have written that must be recorded otherwise you cannot solve the question within a one minute okay so uh, these are the trick how to solve the mcqs okay uh, so therefore first of all uh, my suggestion uh, is to you is that uh, you read the ncrt book then we have uh, explore the um, mcq book uh, or we have displayed the MCQ book in PDF of your uh, app. So therefore, you read all the uh, MCQ questions, you solve that questions, you first read the NCRT book, uh, then you uh, going to write uh, our notes, when uh, that is the video recording notes, you write and then uh, you read that notes, after that you read the NCRT book, after that you solve the MCQ questions, whatever the book we have displayed on your app, you read that book also and you do the practice and after doing all these things, you can solve the question within a one minute. 
So this is the practice, reading, writing, recall of mind. Listening, reading, writing and recall of mind is carefully taken. So you can solve the question very easily. Okay, so these are the things which is necessary to solve the MCQs. So we have taken this MCQ. Which of the following alkyl group is not formed from C4H10 compound? Right? Okay. If the multiple option is given like this, CH3, CH2, CH2. Right? This one. B multiple is given, CH3, CH2, CH, uh, this CH2 not formed. Okay? okay. So, CH2. How many questions? No, carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Okay. Then, second, CH3, CH2, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the fifth one, right? Okay, C, CH3, CH3, CH, CH2, okay? This is the C option, then D option is CH3, 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 right? Okay, so question is like this, you have to solve this question within a one minute. So how you can solve this question? What is the molecular formula? C4H10. So C4H10 is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3 is the structure of the compound having molecular formula C4H10, right? So what is the alkyl group? So alkyl group is nothing but the removal of hydrogen atom from an alkane. So if I am going to remove the hydrogen atom from this carbon, what I will get? CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. This is the one. Then if I am going to remove this carbon hydrogen atom from this carbon atom, okay, this carbon atom, what I will get? CH3, CH2, H, this is the CH3, right? Okay, if I am going to remove the hydrogen atom from this carbon atom, okay, if I am going to remove the hydrogen atom from this carbon atom, I will get again, so see, CH3, CH, CH2, CH3, so these two are the same. Okay, suppose I am going to remove the hydrogen atom from this carbon atom. Okay, what I will get? So, I will get, so this is the CH2, 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 CH3. Okay, and another one is CH3, CH, CH2, CH3. Right, okay, we are solving this uh, question. So, these two are same, one in the same. So, here the free valency, here the free valency, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same, both are same. Here, if I am going to remove this carbon, hydrogen atom from this carbon, I will get this one. If you remove the hydrogen atom from this carbon, I will get this one. So, these, both these two are same. What is the name of this alkyl group? Secondary butyl. What is the name of this alkyl group? N butyl. Right? Okay? So, what is the common name? Common name is N butyl. What is the IUPAC name? Only butyl. Because in the IUPAC system, we never use N, I, so, or new. So, therefore, this is N butyl is the common name. IUPAC name is the butyl. What is the common name of this alkyl group? This is the secondary butyl. Right? So, this is the common name. What is the IUPAC name? Select the longest continuous chain of the carbon atom. Okay? Numbering should be started from that carbon which has the free valency or monovalency. So, therefore, this carbon is uh, the free valency carbon. So, numbering should be started from here. 1, 2, 3. So, at one carbon, this methyl group is there. So, what will be the name? 1 methyl. How many carbon atom are present in the straight chain? 3. Alkene will be propane, N is replaced by YL, 1 methyl propyl. Right? Okay. So, what is our question? Which of the following alkyl group is not formed from C4H10? Okay. So, if uh, uh, question is like this, we should know what type of alkyl group will be produced from this. So, from this only two type of alkyl group is there. Okay. So, therefore, this is the N-butyl, N-butyl. 
this is the uh, which one is this one uh, one two three four five right okay so uh, this will be the uh, one two three four five five carbon atoms are there suppose if i have not uh, is removed from the question what will be the answer which of the following alkyl group is formed from c4 h10 okay see here okay question is like this suppose not is i have removed omitted what will be the answer okay which of the following alkyl group is formed from c4 h10 compound so this is the n butyl this one two three four five so this is the pn pentyl one two three four five right one two three right okay so this is the iso butyl okay so then uh, this is the tertiary butyl okay so if the c4 h10 compound is there so this will form this will form this will form but it is not formed this b right why see if the c4 h10 i have taken is the n butane i will get this one right okay suppose i have taken the iso butane see ch3 ch3 h ch3 see isobutane from this isobutane what type of alkyl group i will get so this group i will get because if this ch from this ch3 uh, one hydrogen is removed i will get this one if you remove this hydrogen atom i will get this one so therefore from this these two are getting from this this one is getting so therefore we cannot get from this one from this molecular formula so therefore what will be the answer this is the answer okay so therefore uh, answer will be this b so which of the following alkyl group is not formed from c4 h10 compound so answer will be this one these are formed from the c4 h10 but this will not be formed right okay this is the mcq question now third mcq question we will uh, solve okay what will be the question suppose uh, question will be asked on the uh, common name system okay how the question is to be set so question will be uh, like this so see the common name of third question the common name of compound the common name of compound ch3 ch2 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 ch3 ch3h okay the common name of compound is okay a n 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 n hex hepte n heptane right b is iso heptane c is neo heptane d is iso hexane right okay so c such type of question is there the common name of compound ch3 ch2 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 carbon h ch3 ch3 each so what will be the answer right okay so how we can solve this question so this is the compound that is given in the question write the common name what is the common name so this is the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 count the total number of carbon atoms seven carbon atoms are there so second carbon atom is having the one methyl group right okay so second carbon atom is having the one methyl group so therefore uh, if the second carbon carries the one methyl group in the straight chain carbon then it is a iso compound okay so therefore this is called as iso uh, heptane how many carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 carbon atom is there second carbon had methyl group so therefore this is the example uh, that is of isoheptane so uh, therefore what is the answer that is iso this one okay not the c b okay iso why it is iso because second carbon atom is having the methyl group so therefore such type of question will be asked 
in the exam so this is regarding the how the mcq will be set in the exam and how to solve the questions okay so this is regarding the alkyl group common name okay chain isomerism question i have taken uh, some questions i have taken how the question will be asked okay so in the next video we will see the preparation of alkane thank you